Hey everybody, it's going on midnight now. It's um, February 26, 2012. It'll be actually be um, February 27th any time now. And just to end my day, I figured I'd go and have some fun with these um, back capacitors. Now these capacitors here, um, this pile here is another collection of a mix of actual bad pulls. And the others in here are capacitors that I've pulled from non working power supplies, but were still good. So, more or less, um, some of these capacitors, like, um, let's say, I got a couple of TPOs in there that I've actually got bulging tops, and some Capsons in there that I've got some bulging tops. Those were actually bad cap pulls, and I got some TPOs, some Capsons, some JPC TURs in there. That I had had in my collection of um, donor capacitors, and you know, common sense says, why why reinstall a product that is known to fail? I mean, it don't make any sense. So let's go ahead and dispose of these capacitors the fun way. This would be the way they end my day right here. Got this nice hot fire in the wood stove, and um, I won't be able to do this much longer because, like I say, March is right around the corner, and before long. We won't be using this wood stuff anymore, at least till next winter. So we gotta have fun while we can. Okay, here's our shovel, and we'll go ahead and load it up, the shovel with all these capacitors. Now, before I continue on, here's my little disclaimer: these are small electrolyte capacitors with a max, um, the highest voltage rated for is 16 volts at 2200 microfarads. Do not use capacitors that are extremely large. And I don't mean, I don't mean like humongous, but well, yeah, I don't use those, but if the capacitor is any bigger than probably this, or much bigger than these, do not um, toss them into your fireplace because when they explode, they can explode with excessive force. This also applies for batteries. And do not do this on a wood stove or fireplace that does not have a door. Let's say you have a fireplace with a screen, don't do it because it's unsafe. This wood stove has a door on it that cut that um, closes completely. Anyways. Done talking, let's go ahead and load this thing up. Have let's say um electrolyte capacitor fireworks bonanza. I'm gonna try to get these things into the hot coals so that way we'll have the best uh, best effect. See many of my bolts in their top front now. I notice many of them are actually on fire right now. The um, plastic stuff is burning off of them. Unfortunately, I don't think this fire is hot enough to actually um, make them pop. But you can see they were definitely on fire right now. I'm assuming it's probably the electrolyte burning inside of them. Let's go have a closer look here. You can see, I can see um, many of the tops have bulged, and um, on some of the other ones, the bung, the rubber bungs have burnt out, and the electrolyte is actually on fire. 
pretty funny actually. And the um the glass on the fireplace is actually pretty clean tonight, so there we go, there's a pretty good view I think. Let's see, tonight they're not actually popping like I wish they would have, but um, I do currently have a video on YouTube of these things actually popping. See, the key thing here is you got to have extremely hot coals. Well, these coals too are pretty hot. They weren't hot enough to actually um, create an instant explosion of the capacitors. But they're definitely burning right now, as you can see. Here's what brands are in this stash. I'll repeat again. They are, um, there are Capzons, Tipos, and JPC-TURs. These are all electrolytic capacitors for power supplies. Let me zoom in a little bit to see if you can see these a little bit better. It's real grainy because um, this camera has digital zoom, but you might be able to see the um, the um, vents on the, on the top of the, some of the capacitors bulged or um, open. And um, basically, when all is said and done with these capacitors after after the fire is over with, um, when I go to shovel out the ashes, all that's left is. Um, the can itself and the little leads. Sometimes you'll see the paper, well, burnt paper anyways, coil it up. Basically that's what's inside of a um, much of a capacitor. You have, um, of course, inside the can you have paper wrapped real tightly in a, in a electrolytic formula. Anyways, um, this wasn't as spectacular as some other videos, but um, I tried anyway.